Now this is Mike and I'm up what called Car Branch, which comes up this gully right here. And uh, it comes off of Ashhopper Branch, which is straight across from the park headquarters, Sugarland Visitor Center. Anyway, you come up to the old car place, get up the creek, about 90, 100 yards. And this little area right here is kind of somewhat flat. There's about six or seven graves right here. Stones, the field stones are long gone from for hogs and bears or whatever else has drug them down and knocked them over and slid down the bank and into the little wet branch down there. And according to legend, straight across from the house, on that bank up there, next to where the old road bank goes up, supposed to be about a hundred or so Indians buried there. So just a little bit of lost history. I'm going to try to preserve all this old uh, folklore history about the cemeteries that are now gone inside the park. Got one more on up this creek too today. And as you come up this field, you'll come to find a spot a little hard to tell the camera right here, but that's all been dug out and leveled off. And that's where our graves are at, right there. I just call it the Car Branch Cemetery. Now maybe you've been up to this old chimney right here, what I call Ash Hopper Gap, where the trail comes up the hill that way. And the trail road cuts up to there and dies over to Sugarland Branch. Another trail back here to the right cuts over a hill. Goes to several more home sites and comes out behind the nature walkway going up past the Sugarland Visitor Center toward Laurel Falls. But what you may not know, that about uh, 50 or so yards down the hill right here, there are six graves, mostly infant baby graves. Let's go see if we can find them. Now there's the Sheridan Visitor Center. And if you come straight across the road, Right down there is where you go up Ash Hopper. But walk up the road a little bit. You got an old cellar right here, a real big one. You can kind of see down the hole there. It's a big rock cellar. It's all filled in with dirts and leaves. So this is part of the part of the old Keener place. You can see the rocks coming all the way down to there. One time this whole thing was dug out. Right there, dug out, and it's filled in with dirt and leaves. Most people don't even notice that. You can see the rock corner here as well. And here's another dug out, flat spot. Some type of uh, shed right there. There's an old bucket. And there's our very nice spring house. And you can see the parking lot. It's going to visitor center right there.